I just solved the great secret of how to make arcs of plasma swirl in a plasma railgun. This is argon gas. You have to use a radiomagnetic field with four magnetic poles from neomagnets pointing in. Then it swirls very rapidly. Ring magnets work a little bit, but not as well. This is almost identical to a crop picture drawn in the Czech Republic in 2018 showing magnetic field below and the plasma swirling and it looks just like this famous picture of a UFO. So this may be related to UFO propulsion. It's very exciting and we'll come back now and look at it in detail to see what we can learn. Now this next set of magnets is called a radiomagnetic field. Four neomagnets with all the end poles pointing in and it produces a very very strong spin. If we take it off, nothing happens. You can see. Put it back on again flipped. start spinning again. Okay, now let's do some controls. If we put four neomagnets around the tube of plasma with their poles perpendicular to the copper tube, we get no effect, just a standard arc. With the red north poles out in a radiomagnetic field, these arcs seem to be spinning clockwise. But with the south poles out exactly the same, it spins anti-clockwise. And then if I pull the thing off, there's no effect. Add it back. Anti-clockwise. Here's another important control. We have all the red leads positive going to the copper tube outside. That takes the electrons, E minus, to the outside. We have one black lead going to the aluminium rod in the center and that takes the argon ions into the center and you can see the arcs are clearly spinning clockwise. Now when we switch the leads the other way you can see it spins very strongly anti-clockwise. Now we have negative charge around the outside of the copper tube. So the argon ions are spinning around the outside. We have positive charge at the center of the tube so the electrons are inside. Going back to the first arrangement, with positive charges outside of the copper tube, negative charges inside of the aluminium rod, you can see it spinning clockwise. Now we have argon ions near the center and electrons around the copper tube on the outside. It certainly spins very fast. And it's fairly stable. At really high flows of gas, it becomes a bit unstable, like that. At really low flows of gas, it still spins but without much power. Now I've also set up a switch which lets us change which way it's spinning. Anti-clockwise, clockwise, anti-clockwise, clockwise. Anti 
When we put 10 kilovolt AC power from a neon sign transformer to this device, we get a little bit of motion. Let's turn the power and see what happens. volts but nothing really spins if instead we had AC power through a diode now we see a nice counterclockwise spin a neon sign transformer and a high voltage diode so it's pulsed DC power here we are with AC power and then we flip the pulse DC AC, pulse DC. So this is pulse DC going one way, and that's pulse DC going the other way. One goes clockwise, the other goes anti-clockwise. The big copper tube in the middle, instead of aluminium, we still get spinning where the arcs are smaller radiomagnetic field when that central rod is further out then the arcs simply swirl around the rod we use a shorter piece of copper tubing, we can get the spiral electron cloud associated with a Hall effect ion thruster. Here I'm putting the magnetic field on. And look at how it spirals. The aluminium rod here is still negative. We pushed it a little further away from the copper. We get a very fast spiraling cloud of plasma. Without the field, we get nothing. With the field, it spirals quite quickly. On these two orientations of spin, you can see a blue ring around the inside of the argon here. And it goes away when he flips the polarity and the argon goes outside. If you look carefully, you can see a blue ring again with the argon ions inside. And then the argon ions go outside. So you can tell which way the argon ions are going just by looking at the aluminium tube. Very carefully. There's the blue ring and it goes away. There's the blue ring. It goes away. There's the blue ring. It goes away. So argon ions are drawn into the center in one case and dispersed to the outside in the other case. the radiomagnetic field with slightly higher power. Spinning like a propeller. There's DC of 40 kilovolt between the copper tube, which is positive, and the aluminium tube on the inside, which is negative, 40,000 volts. And it's running about 
10 volts, 2.4 amps for these ignition coils to generate the power. Very, very interesting.